So, Graham, uh, about the institutionalization of public relations in your country, uh, I know that you have done uh, a very interesting research on that, and uh, maybe you can tell us something yes. more specific on yes, that. Yes, certainly. Um, I interviewed, uh, I got 81 responses from the top 200 companies in New Zealand, and out of those I found that 53% of them had public relations reporting to the senior management table. Uh, they were not labelled public relations, they used a different name, mm -hmm. which indicates that there was some resistance in New Zealand to the use of the term public relations among senior managers. But the function, the communications function, uh, was present at the senior level in 53% of them. Another 20% were reporting through marketing. Marketing was the general manager, they had public relations under them. And then uh, a 27 percent of the people uh, of the companies that I that I spoke to had no public relations at all, but 53 percent did. Yeah, yeah. Th th that's very interesting. Uh, also, when you mentioned that uh, uh, they, uh, the name, the label, is not yeah. public relations. Yes. But should it be communication? Maybe? Yes, communication. Sometimes a mixture: communication and HR, yeah. communication and marketing. Yeah. Uh, communication and strategic direction, uh, sometimes public affairs. There's a lot of creativity about what the label yeah. is, but it has the same family, communication. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting enough, in Italy, mm. not one single uh, company used PR uh, in the label same. of, of the, the direction. Yep. That's pretty interesting. Yes. Yeah. Yep. But the content. Is, yes. is, uh, is the same. Yes. And yes. Uh, uh, in your research you found that uh, public relation or communication, whatever, uh, is becoming very strategic. Yes. Um, the fact that they're reporting to the senior management table is very important for New Zealand because many of our companies are smaller by comparison with overseas companies. So for them to, to make a separate function for 53% of them, that's a very significant statistic for New Zealand. And uh, it also means that public relations is operating at a lower level for all of that 53% plus under the marketing uh, another 20. So 73% of the companies are using public relations as, as public relations with that distinction being made at the senior level. The senior name is different, the junior level is called public relations. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. And you found uh, some, you made also case studies? Yes, yes. Uh, I, and you I found did something yes. particularly interesting? Yes, yes. Um, especially with the CEOs. Uh -huh. I did some uh, qualitative work with CEOs and um, I, didn't, I didn't get to meet many. I, I spoke directly with eight of them. Eight. But out of those eight, I found that they were very committed to the idea of holistic communication meaning that it would be for the all all look thinking about all the stakeholders uh, government and the customers and the suppliers and the staff thinking about that so their thinking is very orientated towards communications so even uh, from those CEOs I could tell that there's a, a growing number of of uh, leaders in the industries who understand the importance sometimes I think they referred to things uh, such as crises in other companies where admittedly they did not have communications. In nearly all of the crisis uh, situations we've had in New Zealand, no communications person, so where there's been difficulty. So other companies have learned from the pain and from the mistakes of well, their colleagues. That's very interesting. Yeah. So something that I hope to debate in, the, yes. in our Milano Congress. <laughs> yes, okay. very good. Thank you Excellent. very much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Good to meet you.